started out building pretty much everything and anything, you know. Now my main focus is what all we do is CH-47, V-22 work, a lot of government work. I have a big contract with Nestle, Nestle Chocolate. Do a lot of do a lot of work for them. And uh, pretty much now, basically we fabricate all small detail parts, you know, that that come off the water jet, you know, go to my brakeman, they get formed, you know, turn into assemblies and stuff. Um, we build like the front fuselage for the V-22, the avionics rack, that comes off the water jet, you know, starts as a flat pattern, and then everything gets formed up, welded, you know, connectors go on it. We do a lot of small one-piece operations, and to break down our big machine, to do one piece, it's always take a big, you're always taking a big sheet off the machine, do one piece, then you put back up, it's, it was go to the next step, get another machine, and look towards the future. The water jet just got another one in. Hopefully we'll produce a lot of parts for, you know, we do a lot of work for Boeing, Middle River. Our water jet operation is, is I would say, 85 to 90% of every, every part that gets put through this building comes off the water jet. So it's a big aspect of this company. In, a, in an average, we cut between about 10 and 12,000 parts in a year. Uh, you know, a lot of sheet metal, stainless, steel, all basic small parts though. Not, we don't get in the big stuff, basically small detail parts. The reason we went with the water jet is, the main reason is we couldn't use a laser or a plasma because it, when you use a laser or a plasma, it uh, messes up the temper of the material, the heat zones and the aluminum, and you're not, a, you're not, you're not allowed to use that through you know, our specs. So using a water jet, you know, it's cutting just high pressure water and abrasive. You're you're allowed to use that, and it's not messing up the material. It might get a little warm, but you'll never see high temps like a laser or a plasma. This is aircraft parts, you know. So this isn't this isn't no Mattel part, you know. This is this is stuff going on aircraft that are flying in you know the war or for the the B 22s for the Marines now. S thirty pumps, unbelievable cranks out, you know, 60,000 PSI day in, day out. You figure you run, what, six, 700 hours on a set of seals, you have an hour worth of rebuild time. So I would take that all day, running 700 hours and having a half hour, hour of rebuild. Best intense fire out there, I'm happy. We're booming.